What's up, guys? How you doing? My name is Mel. Welcome to Home Store. Excuse all the noise, man. So basically, this is a video for benchmarks and access lines. This one here is basically an access line that I'm going to show you on the blueprint which uh, footage it actually is. So what we do is with this access line, this will show me exactly where my sleeves is gonna go so on my plans I have a certain measurement off of let's just say that this is a hundred and fifty foot uh, access line so on my blueprint it'll give me how many feet I need to be off of this line to put my sleeve or conduit whatever so you follow this and then basically if my sleeve has to go here maybe 10 feet over I'll shoot it with the laser and then I'll put my mark on here and then the elevation, I'm gonna go off of my benchmark. All right, so that's basically just in a nutshell how the access lines work. So it, this is the whole access line. It goes through the whole room or whatever area. And you know, behind these boards is, is the cement wall where my sleeves are, okay? So like I said, let's just say this access line here, the green is 150 on my blueprints. It'll tell me where I have to actually go. Okay, and um, that's basically it, you know, and then these guys, the surveyors will come out here and they'll snap these lines for you. You know, all you have to do is either ask the GC or in some small jobs, you might have to do it yourself, you know. This is another access line going the opposite way. One was going north to south, the other one's going east to west. So this one is one of them for my actual sleeve. And that access line shoots all the way down and it went all the way down to this wall where my sleeves are. You know, so it actually gave me the measurement from the writer here. It told me about three feet, you know, off of that access line. It would be the center of my first sleeve. So I start off with my first sleeve and then I get the measurement of how far apart they have to be, whether it's seven inches, six inches, whatever. And that's how this actually works. And then the height we get off of the benchmark and the plans will tell you what that is. Yeah, so now I gotta come over here, you know, and then we always duct tape them so that, you know, nothing goes inside, no debris. And that's basically, you know, that's basically it, man. There's nothing to it. It looks a little intimidating, but there's nothing to it. You know? Okay, guys. What's up, guys? How you doing? This is the actual drawings of the access lines. All right. So the lesson for today is going to be access lines and benchmarks. More so access lines because I can't really show you benchmarks on the drawings. So more so access lines all right okay so as far as the videos that you saw before okay that was actually out in the field this is going to be in regards to the actual drawings so if you see here we have what you're looking at is the actual service conduits and you'll see the sleeves you know um in regards to these service conduits okay um, the SCB is the uh, service end box, okay, and uh, basically what you need to know the most important parts are these red lines that you see here, okay, these red lines that are going in the direction of north and south and east and west, okay, so for the axis lines, these are important because these are going to give you out in the field when you're doing, you know, underground work when there's actually no reference point at all, you know, whatsoever because there's no building, there's nothing around, okay? So, um, these access lines here, the surveyors are going to snap these lines if they're not already done out in the field. Um, they will actually, you know, at your request or at the request of the GC they'll snap these lines for you okay and you'll be able to actually get your measurements off of these lines all right so right here you probably won't be able to see it too much because it's you know um it's kind of like you can't really see it too well but the measurement here is 16 feet 8 inches and 5 eighths okay and that's giving us a measurement to the edge of the box okay um 
Let me find a better one. All right, so here's uh, 17 feet, two and an eighth of an inch to the center of the conduit, which is also going to be the center of our sleeve. So that's what we're doing, you know, out in the field right now. We're installing sleeves. So that's the measurement that I want, okay? Right now, as to say, you know, out in the field, the wall isn't there yet, okay? But we have form boards, which is what the concrete layers put you know so that they can form their wall okay and um, they'll have one side on and then the other side they'll have rebar and whatnot and they'll have it open on one side so we could actually install our sleeves all right and in order for me to install my sleeve I need to find these measurements so 17 feet and 2 and 1 eighth is the measurement that I need to find the center of my sleeve. The other measurement that I need is the height, okay, which I'm going to go off of a benchmark. I can't show you here in the drawing because it's not going to show you elevations here, <clears throat> okay. We have the, the measurement of the elevation, though, we do, but, um, you know, a benchmark is basically what you're going to use when the floor is not the exact height that it's supposed to be so the uh you know either a carpenter or or a mason or whatever will give you a benchmark of what you can actually go off of it and that benchmark will be like a snapped line chalk line and what it'll basically say is um you know that that snapped line is gonna have a measurement to it and they'll tell you okay so this snap line is equal to five feet okay so you know that that snap line is five feet and if I need an elevation of let's just say you know right here what this elevation here says four feet six inches okay so if I need that elevation okay I know that the snap line is five feet I need four feet and six inches. I know I need to deduct six inches and that's where the center of my sleeve is gonna be. Okay, so basically you have both of your measurements and it's kind of like a cross here. X marks the spot. You put your first sleeve there at four feet, six inches and 17 feet and two and an eighth of an inch, you know, over that's your first sleeve okay and in here in my drawings I have already what my center to center measurement for my sleeves are which is seven inches and a half okay for each sleeve and that's basically it once you find the first sleeve the other ones fall right in line because you already have your center to center measurement okay so it's basically you know that simple it really is okay your first step is to find an uh, access line that you can use to get your actual measurement from and sometimes the surveyor won't give you the actual measurement the actual access line that you see on your on your drawing but it's the same thing let's just say um you see this red line here this access line to the left here where i have my arrow Let's see what that number is, okay? And if I go all the way up, okay, I see that that is 152 feet east, all right? So let's just say he doesn't snap us this line, and he gives us, uh, you know, either one that's 160 or one that's 150. All you got to do is just do your calculation accordingly either add or subtract and that's basically it you know you don't it doesn't have to be the actual measurement that you have in the drawing as long as you have some kind of reference point all right so if you if it was if this is 152 east and this is our measurement off of that access line and they happen to give us 150 you know you need to add a couple of feet to it you know or vice versa or whatever if it's 160 you know then you would do the opposite so that's basically what the access lines do for you out in the field okay and um it's not only done for sleeves and whatnot it's also used for underground pipe work you know to locate where your conduits have to be installed out in the field when there's nothing there but dirt okay um 
So that's what basically an access line is. And I wanted to show you and teach you this, guys, because not too many apprentices have the uh, experience of doing this. There's not too much underground work, you know, being done in New York, you know. Um, maybe in other states, you know, this is very common. <clears throat> in New York, you don't have that much deck work being done or, you know, uh, underground work being done all the time. Only because, you know, we do a lot of renovations here instead of, you know, underground, you know, from the ground up. Um, I will say, though, that there is a lot of from the ground up work being done lately, you know. Uh, so yeah, so basically that's that's that And if you want to do another example, you see we have a red line here uh, Let's just say that this access line is um, uh, Let's go check it out actually Let's see if we can check it out. Let's see what that access line is to the right here Let me see 190 Okay, so that's 190. Excuse the the lag here. I know it's kind of not catching up quick there, but um, excuse me for that. So that's 190. Let me find the 190 again. This one here is the 190, the one that we just saw. Okay, so if we need six feet nine and a half inches from this access line, all right. That's basically all you have to do is just find that access line out in the field. And if it's not done, you know, then we'll get a survey to snap that for us. Okay. Or if it's a small job, you might have to actually do this yourself. Okay. Um, somebody's still going to have to actually get you this point. But I mean, actually snapping the line, you might have to do it yourself. Like, you know, uh... A mason or whoever the rebar layers might just say okay this is you know 190 okay and they might just give you a, a small mark and you might actually have to snap it yourself if you need to and then we'll take lasers okay and you'll measure over six feet nine and a half you'll put your mark and then with a laser you're gonna actually transfer that mark from the floor to the wall Okay, to this wall here, okay, because out in the field what they'll do is if you see my arrow They'll have a foam board on one side uh, Either or of this wall. All right, and then they'll have rebar here and whatnot And actually let me speak to you about the rebar the rebar, you know, it might be in your way in most of the time Okay, honestly, it might be in your way almost all of the time some kind of rebar will be in your way and what we'll have to do is we'll either have to cut this out or the masons will have to cut it out for you depending on, you know, how your job site works. Uh, yeah, and they'll have to cut it out so you could fit your sleeves in, all right? And, um, I mean, the lesson isn't really on installing sleeves. It's more on the access lines and how to use them. But, um, yeah, you might have to, you know, either cut some of these rebars out or have them cut out so that you can fit your actual sleeves perfectly where they're supposed to be. Okay. So just wanted to share that for you, you know. But um, that's basically what we and how we use these access lines. Okay. And, you know, as far as benchmarks go for elevation. Okay. So... Whether you have shop drawings that give you all of these measurements or not, maybe you maybe your job site is a small one and you might not have a drawing for all this, but you still have the access line and you know whether you know you don't have a shop drawing or whatnot, but you still, you know, need a certain measurement, you know, to place your whether it be boxes, conduit, you know, whatever it is that you're installing. Uh, you know, you still need to know some type of access line, all right? And that's what it's called, and that's what you would use to get an accurate measurement so you can place whatever it is that you're going to install accurately, okay? And, uh, yeah, so that's how we use these access lines, 
all right if there's anything that i missed uh please mention it in the in the comments and whatnot um to give you a little bit of this drawing here uh, what you're looking at is the service conduits let me zoom out a little bit the service conduits okay for the switch gear for the service room as you can see the service room is here okay and um, these sleeves are gonna be for my power company uh, feeders coming in um, in my instance it would be Con Edison okay they're gonna come through with their uh, feeders into the service end box and then these seven conduits over here are what we're going to bring from the service end box power to the switch gear main disconnects okay so if you follow these seven conduits which are going to be in parallel they're going to go to the switch gear okay which is going to be over here is one set all right which is going to be the ct cabinet it's going right into the ct cabinet which is going to be on the first floor and my other set for the other service is going to be right next to that all right so we have in this job site we're going to have two services okay two services and that's basically it yeah so we're gonna have 14 conduits to the switch gear room which is what it says here okay and it has the elevation and whatnot and that's basically it guys all right i'm not gonna continue on i'm gonna leave you guys here and that's what access lines are all about <laughs>